Or if you look to your left right here, you're going to have probably the, the dodge tool at first. It looks, like a it looks like a little magnifying glass or magnifying glass. I can't say that word without, you know, actually like taking my hand and putting it up and just counting each fucking syllable. All right. Yo, what is going on, guys? Your boy Sister here. Bring you guys another Photoshop tutorial. Uh, bring you guys this cool origami folded paper type like text logos. Uh, it's really simple. It's really cool as well. I thought I really like you guys would really like like this a lot. Uh, you probably see it around if you don't. Uh, it's really simple to do. It probably looks like eh at first, but at, you know after I show you guys how to do, it, it's probably like yo, that's so simple, so easy. Uh, it's basically like taking the burn tool. If you press O on your keyboard for the shortcut. Uh, so it's gonna be right under the dodge tool, which kind of looks like a magnifying glass. Simply just click on it, hold it. Uh, go to the second one, it's the burn tool here, you select it, and you're good to go. So that's what we're going to be using the burn tool, it basically just takes, you know, pixels or, you know, the object you selected on, and kind of like darkens it, basically like, like kind of like put a gray, a gray scale on it, and then if you go over it a couple times, it turns more black, and so that's what that is, it's really simple to use. And uh, with this style right here, it's actually used with a text. This is called Orgram or something like that. I'll put the logo, uh, put the font, you know, style or whatever in the description below for you guys to download. Uh, it's a font. Uh, but let's say if you use, like, really cool, like, you know, or if you made yourself, you know, boxed, uh, you know, typography, text logos or text letters, whatever, letter concepts. Uh, this would work for this, too, if you guys want to kind of, like, feel the little origami, you know, style or whatever. Uh, it's a really cool way to, like, give it to your clients or whatnot. You know, my client was like, hey, do you know how to do this? I was like, no, but I'll get back to you on it. I learned it, and I was like, I said, it's super, super quick and super easy as well. Uh, if you type in, like, origami logos in uh, Google or whatever, you can see this multicolored, like, beautiful, beautiful logos. Uh, it's all just made with the burn tool. Uh, as far as I know, that's basically how I've seen it. has been done with a lot of other people. And uh, so, yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to do this. It's really simple. We're gonna get going right now, and uh, really quickly before we start, uh, I'm just gonna get this text going though. Uh, thank you guys so much for 23,000 subscribers. That is a big, big number. We are 7,000 away from 30k. When I hit 30k, I you will, I don't even, whew, you don't even know. I'll probably be in college, like my you know half a year in college, or probably done with a year in college. But whatever, whenever it comes, I just really want to say thank you guys so much uh, already. You know, for 23,000 subscribers, you know, all of you guys, just thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, there we go. I just want to make sure I said that. Because it's important to me. Alright. So like I said, this is a text logo. Or this is a text font, I mean. Uh, just what's S-E-S-O spelled out. And this is the font name right here. Like I said, it'll be in the description below for you guys to download. Uh, so right away, once you have, you know, you're, you're, you know, if you had a letter uh, already set, you know. Otherwise, if you're using a text, you're all good to go. Uh, so what you got to do is going to right click on your text. Or if you're using a text, of course. And just make sure you click Rasterize Style. Uh, what that'll do is basically allow you guys to cut out the, you know, the text itself one by one and actually work on one letter at a time. Uh, so when we do that, you just press M on your keyboard, the letter M, which is right here, the rectangle marquee tool, the M is the shortcut. And you want to select the, uh, the rasterize layer and then just basically take this little square and go over each letter and then layer via copy. And then when you want to copy another one, make sure you're on the layer, uh, the layer previous. Right click, layer via copy. Or cut, not copy, cut. Make sure you do cut, otherwise it's going to be just copying it. You want to cut it. You just want to cut it. All right. So I'm just going to rename these S-E-S-O, just so we can stay organized on that cool stuff. And we're going to hide these, and I'm going to zoom into this S right here, and we're going to get started. All right. So like I said, it's with the burn tool. It's really, really simple. Uh, let's see if you're using like a rounded text uh, or a rounded you know, font or if you made a rounded you know, letter concept, typography, whatever you did. And you don't want to have you or use the marquee tool because that's what we're going to be using the marquee tool. Uh, it's basically, you know, because this is like a really boxy logo or a boxy font. Uh, so the marquee tool will be perfect for this. But if you're using more of a rounded thing, a uh, rounded font, maybe like this one right here. It's called Velocity, V-E-L-C-I-T-Y or whatever, right? And uh, so, yeah, that's what this is. If you want to use something like this, you can do that. Is you can just use the pen tool for the uh, selection. Selection. Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing here, uh, since the marquee tool or the rectangle is already a selection, so we can just use this as the canvas of where we burn mark or put a burn on the object itself. If you want to use the pen tool, you could do that as well. It's like if you want to make a little curve burn mark or something like that, you just simply click and drag and then go all the way around or whatever, right? And then make selection, and then this will be your selection. That will be the path or whatever for you guys to like use as the burn mark, just so you guys know ahead of time. So it's simple. Just use the pen tool. If you want to use, you know, curves or whatnot. But for now, we're going to be using the rectangle marquee tool. I'm going to zoom in. And we're going to do this kind of like well. Uh, so we're going to zoom in right like nice and close. And there we go. And you can see here, I just basically selected out a shape. This is the rectangle here. Press O on my keyboard for the shortcut for the burn tool. And then simply go around about three times or, you know, cross three times. Control D to deselect or right click deselect. 
And you can see right away, the burn is right there, and it kind of looks like it's folded already. You can see, like, this has, like, one piece here, another piece here, and then the other piece below it. And I'm going to keep on going. So I'm just going to basically just take these little, like, you know, shapes out, I guess you can say. I'm going to take this little triangle out right here. Burn tool. About three times or so. Looks good already, you can see. And I'm going to do another time over here. Like there. And then a couple times, like so. And then one more, just because we could. Right here, I'm going to cut out another triangle. And about three times. So there we go. So that's what it is. It's uh, It kind of looks like origami already, if I zoom out a little bit. Next, and like, yeah, obviously, you know, since uh, Photoshop's not vectorized, the way you more zoom in, because more pixels you see and such. But if you zoom out, you can see the logo, or in this case, the text logo right here. It looks really, really cool. It looks folded, origami style, origami feel. You can still see the letter, or, you know, this is an S, lower, uh, lowercase script S, uh, if you didn't know already. Uh, that's what this is. So we're going to go keep on going. We're going to go to the E now. So I'm going to do the same thing for the E. Use the rectangle marquee tool, the M shortcut. And do something like this. And if you're asking yourself, how can you use this yourself? You can do some really cool, you know, maybe if you want to do some cool origami, you know, if you're working with someone who needs like an origami logo or something like that, or an origami rebrand for like their website or something, uh, you can do something like this, which is always good just to know things uh, just because of, ahead of time. So you know, hey, I already know how to do this. I can do it. Here we go. So I didn't know how to do it at first, so I had to learn it. Anyways, I thought I'd teach you guys because that's actually pretty cool as well. Uh, so I'm going to keep on doing this. You can see me just simply just cutting out shapes, basically. And then we're going to go again here. And then why not do it here as well? You know, the more we do, the cooler it looks. There we go. And then, oops, that's a little bit too far. Let's keep it as close as possible there. And there we go. So that's that one. I'm going to do the S here, but I'm going to just duplicate this one because there's no actual reason to do it again. And then go to O. Move that over here. And then for the O, we're just going to do a nice little rectangle down the middle. Like so. And then O on the keyboard. Burn tool a couple times there. And then you'll see it has like basically like three pieces. You can see it looks folded. And I'm going to do one more time. Is this to do one right to the middle? I didn't do that in the first one, but I'm going to do it here. Uh, that's a little bit too dark. There we go. Oops. And then we'll take another rectangle here. And I'm going to do the other side. It's going to have it like a four way fold for the O. So there we go. So that's it. Uh, like I said, it looks really, really silly. Like, look how cool it looks. It just so cool. It just, puts a smile, it just literally puts a smile on my face because how cool it looks. Uh, so, yeah. I uh, hope you guys learned something. Uh, I can actually do some more if I want. I can actually do some really cool little thing right here. Just to show you guys how, how creative we can get. I'm just going to quickly just do that real quick then. Kind of make this tour a little bit longer. But at the same time, I'll kind of show you guys some other stuff. Why not, right? And I'm going to fill this path with that same color. And uh, this is like me just making a, right, a triangle really quickly. I just like to use a ruler because I like to be perfect. There we go. Uh-oh. Come on. There we go. Control T. Horizontal. And I'm going to do something like this. Right? All right. So we're going to start off with this. Why not? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to basically take, uh, I'm just going to select one. I'm just going to select this. And I'm going to go to here and then use the burn tool here. All right. So now we're just getting real weird. We're just going to do something really cool. Try to do something really cool really quick. Uh, I don't like the way I burned it. Let's see. Click. Uh, there we go. Something like that. And then we can do like another one here. Because we can. On this layer or this one. Something like right there. Uh, I don't know. Something here. I'm just going off with it right now because I just feel like it's really cool to show you guys this. I don't know. Something like here. Yeah. Maybe if I was using a bigger brush, it wouldn't be such a problem. Oops, not selecting the right layer. And something like that or whatever. And then we can do some more in the middle or whatever. So you can go, I guess you can do some really cool things with this. Like I'm just doing random stuff right now just because I'm, I don't know, I really have fun with this. I don't know why, but I really feel like I have way too much fun with this. And so anyways... Yeah, we're just going to keep on going. I don't even know. All right, so let's say that was a cool little company logo right there. Uh, it would be cool if you had different colors as well. You can even, you know, make different, you know, letters. I mean, not different letters. You mean different letters or different shapes or whatever, different colors, and then burn them as well to have multiple colors with, you know, cool little origami folds. Uh, so that's just me 
messing around a little bit. Um, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, thank you guys so much for 23,000 subscribers. And uh, basically, I hope you guys learn how to do some cool little origami stuff here. And uh, maybe learn it, pass it on, all that cool stuff. I don't, I'm just going to keep on going while I'm talking. Uh, so yeah, if you guys want to ever like follow me on Twitter, at SSOHQ if you do not already. And uh, if you guys don't actually know about the everything pack in my store, I will link it down below. So basically, you get everything in my store uh, for one low price. is $30, and it basically gets everything else for free that I put out products-wise. I try to put one out every, like, one or two weeks. Not one or two weeks. I'm going to say two or three weeks. And they're all really nice quality, like, you know, products and stuff. So if you ever want to purchase that, you're all good to go. Uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching again. And I'll talk to you guys later. So switch you out. Peace.